Today, I have installed the new update from Serif. So let's have a quick look together what has changed and what is new. The new update contains mostly quality of life improvements and I definitely like this what's new page. It gives a quick overview with the important changes in this version combined with a short explanation and a sample video how it works. Let's go through them. I will not go through all the items in the list but will focus on the items I find interesting. Balanced dash lines. Makes your dash lines look great, especially in the corners. Vector flood fill. It is a fill tool for vectors. You can tap on areas and it can fill them by creating a near curve. Well, most of the time. To be honest, I am a bit disappointed in this tool. I was hoping to see a true fill tool which would also allow you to use it on pixel layers. Anyway, it is still a cool new feature. It has options for insertion mode and fill mode, which gives some flexibility. Keep in mind this is a designer only feature. Blend mode keyboard shortcuts. This is definitely a nice to have and I think the shift plus or minus will be my new favorite shortcut. However, I wonder how much I will use the other shortcuts. Alt drag to duplicate layers. Again, a nice to have. I think the advantage over Command or Ctrl J is that, that the duplicated layers will be inserted to the position you drag into. Alt click to expand or collapse all layers. Well, this is something that should have been in the very first version of Affinity. Guide improvements. I think this will definitely make using guides more accessible. From the brush panel improvements, I'm guessing the show brush names in the panel will be something I will definitely turn on. It's also great that we get the measure tool from Designer also available in Photo. In the iPad version, I do like that they have extended the left swipe option in layers. I think this will be definitely a time saver. The option to long press on geometry operations to create compound does make a lot of sense. But the two new features on the iPad which I really like is that rulers are now available and that we can reset the rotation with double tap in the navigator. As you can see, it took approximately 6 months until Serif released a major update. I would assume they will release a couple of minor releases in the upcoming months to fix issues from this release and hopefully we will get a new major release by the end of the year. Currently Photo and Designer are still missing a lot of features and I think Serif will need to crank up their release schedule if they ever want to catch up with other tools. We live in interesting times and the world of graphic design is changing in a fast pace. To keep relevant in this business, Serif must innovate. They have a good base with the Affinity suit now and hopefully we will see some exciting features in the near future. I really do like their products but I'm afraid at some point even I will be forced to switch to other products if they can't deliver value over other competing programs. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.